Okay, here's a video of the latest version of Snow Leopard 10.6.5 running on my uh, Lenovo ThinkPad T61P. So, here's the laptop. It's a very nice and sturdy machine, very solid. Spill proof, you know, magnesium casing, shock proof. Um, and here's the snow leopard. Now I couldn't get the hardware video acceleration working, but it's still you know the interface it's it's very fast still. No problems with the mirror like effect on the dock as well. Um, the genie minimize animations. The pop out animation. Now the reason to upgrade to the latest version of Leopard for me was uh, to get the latest version of Xcode 3.2.5 which allows me to develop with the latest iPhone software development kit and let me show you here go to Xcode could create a new project Gives me the options to make an iPhone application. Let's go with a simple one. Okay, just untitled. And boom, there you go. It's really fast. So now let's just minimize that. Minimize this. Uh, now let me show a couple of my favorite things in macOS and in Snow Leopard in general. The dock, I love the dock, the dashboard. I set it to uh, activate whenever I uh, go with my cursor to the corner here, like a hot zone. And I could, it has a lot of cool gadgets, weather, you know, calendar, time, you know, different time zone converters, there's this really nifty monitor, um, I could, for example, check movies and local times of movies, say the Harry Potter movie, these are my local cinemas, I could check the times, I could read about the movie, I could watch the trailer here. And um, the sound, I got it to work, even using the hardware buttons. These are dark times, there is no denying. <sighs> Tell me where the is. Our world has faced no greater threat than it does today. But you can't fight this war. And again, to get rid of that dashboard, just go to the corner that's what, the way I set it up another one is the quick look, I love the quick look um, now let me just go to finder I could actually go to my windows hard drive here without a problem and go to my Windows profile and I could go to my desktop now here I could use that quick look as I was saying it to preview um, any kind of document I could preview for example uh, a PDF document I just need to click on it hit the space bar 
and it opens that quick look. I could make it full screen if I want to. And it's really nice and smooth reading of PDF documents. Just close it. I could preview, uh, for example, uh, movie files without a problem using the quick look. Now let me show you. Here my, let's say, uh, my iPhone pictures folder from Windows. Let's say I want to preview this movie without opening any application. I could just click on that in the space bar. Launches the quick look. Now if I hit the space bar again, it hides it. I could preview another movie, let's say. the spacebar again, it's rid of it, I could preview multiple files with the quick look by just dragging and selecting multiple files, then hitting the spacebar, then it's gonna give me that extra menu where I could choose which file I want to preview, also you know I could go from one to the next file, I could display them in full screen to preview them in full screen. Okay, have a slideshow going on. Hit the spacebar again to deactivate the quick look. Um, another thing is that I could actually preview Photoshop files and also um, you know PDF documents movie files and on top of that vector vector based illustrator files also have a thumbnail preview which I could not get working in Windows I managed to get the PSD preview working in Windows but here in macOS I get even the illustrator preview um, if I want to have even um, like a zoomed in look on that file again I could click it hit the space bar use the quick look feature and that's an illustrator file actually mind you make it full screen PSD files I could preview it's really cool scrolls really fast, the thumbnails update really fast, and that's that's on my Windows partition. So let's say I want to take a look at this PDF file, hit the space bar, hit the space bar again to hide it. Um, now let me show you some web browsing, very fast in Safari. I could even go to Hulu. And let's say I'm gonna just choose some clip randomly. 